Hey guys, today I'm going to talk a little bit about Anki, which has really changed how I study in med school. It's a spaced repetition system which has started to become fairly popular. In this video, I'll give some background on the basic setup, and in later videos, I'll go into some more specific detail. The idea behind spaced repetition is that you see material you don't know very well far more often than the things you already understand, making studying a lot more effective. In Anki, everything is entered as a type of digital flashcard, like this one. Each day, you're shown a certain number of new flashcards that you haven't studied yet. For this demonstration, I have a deck of 15 cards, and I set the options to show seven new cards each day. The blue number here means I still have all seven left to review for today. When you see a card for the very first time, you must answer it correctly twice, spaced at least 10 minutes apart, before the card is considered learned. After I click Show Answer, I'm able to choose how well I answer the card. Since I got it right, I'll click Good, and it'll show up in another 10 minutes to make sure I really know it. After I move to the next card, you can see that the numbers change to reflect my first card moving from the blue New Card category to the red Learning category. If I get it right again later, I won't see it until tomorrow. To show I got a card wrong, I'll click again after showing the answer. Doing so causes the card to be shown again in one minute, just long enough for a fair shot the next time. You can see that the number of red learning cards went up by two. That's because I still have to get this last card right two more times before it's considered learned. I could have also selected easy if the card was no problem, but I rarely use easy unless I already knew the answer before I even learned it in class. I can continue through the rest of the cards in the same way. After 10 minutes, or when I get to the end of my deck, I'll begin seeing some of the new cards again. If I get them right, they'll go away until tomorrow. If I get them wrong, they'll go back to square one until I get them right twice in a row. The next day, you'll see another batch of new cards to learn in blue, just as before. However, you'll also see the batch of cards you learned the previous day, shown here as green review cards. If you answer any of the review cards correctly, this time you won't see them again for three days. However, if you answer one incorrectly, it'll be shown again in a couple minutes. Once you get it right, it won't be shown until the following day, as if you had just learned it. The review interval will continue to lengthen as long as you continue to answer a card correctly. As you'd expect, you'll tend to see the cards you don't know very well much more often than you see the cards that you routinely answer correctly. In med school, this really makes a difference in study time. I'll use my biochem course as an example of what this looks like in action. Each day, I made cards for all the lectures, including anything I thought might be tested on. Each lecture generated anything from 10 to 30 new cards, depending on the complexity of the content. I set my options to show 35 new cards each day, which I found to be reasonable for keeping up with the cards I was creating. As long as I was consistent in reviewing the cards that were due each day, I'd have those 35 new cards, plus anywhere from 60 to 120 review cards each day. The total review would take about 30 to 45 minutes. By the end of the three month course, I had about 1500 cards in my deck, but even with a large number of cards, I still only needed about 30 to 45 minutes a day to keep up with the new and the old material. By the end of the course, some of the early cards were up to two months between reviews, while the newer material had just a couple days between reviews. Anki helps a lot with my retention and accuracy, but the most important part for me is that I know when I'm done studying each day. Once the cards are done, I'm done for the night. Anyway, let's get started making our first deck. The first step is getting Anki set up. I'm not going to go through all the details because the website has everything you need. To start, go to ankisrs.net and download the version you need. At this time, Anki is available for Windows, Mac, and Linux with mobile versions for iPhone and Android as well. All of them allow you to sync your decks between multiple devices, which I take advantage of all the time. Once you have Anki installed, Open it up and you should see this home screen. To create a deck, click Create Deck at the bottom of the screen. 
Give your deck a name and click OK. Your deck will appear on the deck list here. To start adding cards to your new deck, click on it and then select Add at the top of the screen. The new card window should appear like this. As you can see, there are two fields which represent the front and the back of the card, just like a physical flashcard. You're welcome to make cards like this, but I found it much more effective to use a different type of card. You can change the card type by clicking on Basic up here at the top. A window showing the available card types appears. I almost exclusively use closed deletion cards, which allow you to make a sort of fill-in-the-blank style card. Once you've changed the note type to Close, you'll see that the fields have changed to Text and Extra. The text field should contain some sort of true statement, such as lipolysis in adipose tissue is regulated by hormone-sensitive lipase. To create a closed deletion, or a fill in the blank, highlight the portion of text and click on the dot 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 icon. You'll see brackets appear around the text, which will be hidden on the card. When you review the card later, it'll look like this. At this point, you have all the basics to go ahead and create your own deck. Everybody has a slightly different strategy for making cards. In the next couple videos, I'll show how I like to make cards so that they're quick and easy to review.